The tools panel works in combination with what's called the options bar. Now that runs across the top of the screen and depending on which tool you activate by left clicking on it, the options bar will provide you a series of settings to modify the tool's behavior. As we've already seen with the zoom tool, that refers to changing the magnification level. If I was to say, for example, click on the type tool shown as a capital T symbol, it would then provide for us ways that we could modify the text appearance. So we could get options for font families, style, size, alignment, and the color of that text as well. In particular, when we come to create selections of our image, making edits to just the region that falls inside that selection, we have a series of modes. So we can create new selections, add, and then we can subtract from them and ways that we can make the edge of those selections harder or softer as well. Just bear in mind that when you change from one selection tool to another, you will see very similar symbols at the upper left hand side. Don't be misled into thinking that those are just generic options at the top up there that don't change. They will, depending on whichever selection tool that you've got active, they will be unique to that specific selection tool and the way it behaves. And that is the options bar.